Hello, in this video I would like to show you how to upgrade from a CCFL to a uh, UB70 series LED backlight lamp. This is a screen is made by the Samsung. Uh, the part number is LTM170EU-L11. It's one of the popular screen they're using on uh, industrial applications. To upgrade from uh, CCFL to UB70 series, which is our newest LED uh, uh, kits, backlight kits, it's quite easy for this Samsung screens. Uh, basically, uh, you just have to remove this two backlight assembly, one on top, one in the bottoms, by removing a really small, small uh, uh, Phillips screw. Uh, so you just took this wire out. Right here, there's a small screws, so you just remove it. There we go. Then you hold up the wire like this. You just pull it out. It just pulls. It's a little bit tight, but you just have to pull it. Okay, one. We're going to do the same thing on the other one, remove this tip, set it aside, maybe you can reuse it later on, or you can just use a new tip, either way. So you see it, there's a small tiny Phillips screw that holding a backlight assembly, and screw it, take it out, hold it up. Okay, here we go, bottom, top, okay, here is our UB7 series LED kit, uh, it's pretty um, powerful kit and uh, the LED in terms of size of LED is much bigger than the other series, so we're going to test this LED strip, make sure this LED strip also comes with the uh, uh, MS456 UB uh, LED converter. The dip switch already default set to 2, 6, 7. It's what we call default setting. So we connect to it. <coughs> Alright, make sure it's connect. Power works. Alright, we're going to test it. Make sure LED lights up before we do the we install it back to the CCFL uh, back by assembly. Okay, every LED lights good, ready to go. Disconnect, disconnect, disconnect. So I will try to do is one at a time. So you now just do the top one. Uh, it's quite easy to uh, remove the backlight lamp. Uh, there's a uh, Tape was covering the small wire, which we call low voltage return wire. We just remove. We don't need it anymore. Just remove the tape and uh, loosen up this low voltage return wire. And uh, okay, just open up a little bit. That's it. One go. It's done. This one. So. I would, usually I would do one at a time, so, and then remove the double side tips cover. All right, so you just make sure to put it in the center of the refractor, metal refractor, and use whatever the tools you prefer to press down the LED strip and make sure you have make a quick, quick contact with the existing old reflectors. Uh, we also use this reflector as a part of the heat sink. So, all right, it's done. One, see, easy. Then you slice back. Put the screw back. Put the small screw back. Alright, we do the other one, same thing, we move the tape, this no longer need it, that covers the low voltage uh, wires, low voltage return wire on the CCFL. Let's 
loosen it up. Okay. Now take it out this end. Open up this a little bit. It's done. Okay. Do the same. Just repeat the same procedure you just did. Remove the double side cover. As you can see, it's quite easy, uh, much easier than uh, replacing a uh, CCFL backlight. A CCFL backlight, you had to solder the wires to it, uh, put a rubber boot bed, and uh, so on. Just push it down, press it down, make sure you have a good contact with the reflectors. It's done. You're going to put it right back uh, like it should be. back this is a tiny screw then you connect the inverter converter to it it's done but one thing I want to sh show you on this video is that let me test it so you know what I'm talking about I'm going to show you uh, you know you finish it usually I would put it like you know put it back ray reverse like this and then add a piece of tape, you know, make sure it's, uh, it's, it's there and uh, add a piece of tape, make sure this wire won't move back and forth and then stay there and see that? Yeah, make sure it stay there and then you connect to it while in converter you can mount it back to where your original inverter location but let me fire up you see what I'm saying I'm going to show you something this time is that when you fire up it's like you see this side is quite bright see that so what I would like to do is that cover this side by using aluminum foil a piece of aluminum foil so that way This is a piece of maloom foil. You took it out. The cover. This is you see that cover out? So you won't see the, the light was spraying now after that. Let me put the other one in so I can test it. Let me show you how it is. <coughs> Just sign. You see? This is open, right? You gotta cover it. Of course you don't want to cover the school hole. Alright, it's done. So when you connect it back, you test it. See, the light comes on, but you know you don't see any lights at all because covered by a aluminum foil. That's it. Thank you for watching.